The Love of My Youth is a novel penned by American author Mary Gordon in 2011. The story revolves around two successful individuals, Miranda and Adam, who were once in love during their high school years but have been estranged since their 20s. By chance, they reunite in Rome, sparking conversations about aging, art, their content marriages to other people, and contemplations on what could have been. The novel received acclaim for its emotional depth and seamless storytelling, earning praise from the New York Times. Mary Gordon, an esteemed writer, has been recognized with prestigious honors, such as a Guggenheim Fellowship and an O. Henry Award. Miranda, an epidemiologist specializing in environmental threats, finds herself in Rome for a conference. Alone one evening, she accepts an invitation from her friend Valerie to have dinner with Adam, her high school sweetheart who shattered her heart in 1971. As the dinner approaches, Gordon allows us to glimpse into the thoughts and perspectives of both characters. Miranda still harbors bitterness, pride, and grievances regarding Adam's betrayal when he left her for his first wife, Beverly, even though she knows Beverly tragically took her own life. On the other hand, Adam recalls with frustration that during the final years of their relationship, Miranda was preoccupied with political activism, leaving little attention for his idealistic passion for playing classical piano. During the dinner, Miranda discovers that Adam's grand musical ambitions have not materialized as he teaches music at a private school. Instead, his aspirations are now focused on his 18-year-old daughter, who has received a grant to study music in Rome. Adam's second wife, much younger than the late Beverly, is the mother of his daughter. Meanwhile, Miranda herself is happily married to an Israeli doctor and has two sons involved in philanthropic endeavors. As a gesture of reconciliation, Adam, being of Italian descent, offers to be Miranda's guide during their time in Rome. In their journey through Rome, memories and conversations unfold between Miranda and Adam, shedding light on their past and the present. Adam reminisces about their previous visit to Rome in 1969, where their love and passion overshadowed their exploration of the city's sites. Miranda, however, hesitates, questioning the underlying significance of Adam's offer to be her guide. Each chapter of the novel is set against the backdrop of Rome's famous attractions like Trastevere, the Piazza Navona, the Capitoline, and the Borghese Gardens. Within these settings, Miranda and Adam delve into the complexities of aging and the awkwardness that comes with it, what Miranda refers to as the age of embarrassment. They engage in discussions about their youthful relationship, while Mary Gordon provides intricate details of their backstory. It is revealed that they first met in high school when Adam, already a talented pianist, accompanied Miranda's audition for the Glee Club. United by their respective idealisms, Miranda's for radical politics and Adam's for music, they fell deeply in love. Their families assumed they would eventually marry as they attended college together, nurturing their relationship both emotionally and physically. I in Rome, the narrative reveals how their youthful tendencies have evolved over time. Miranda's political idealism has transformed into self righteous political correctness. She strives to live an ethical life, yet she indulges in luxuries that she once would have condemned. On the other hand, Adam's dedication to music has made him detached from the world, brusque in his interactions, and overly precious about artistic endeavors. As they contemplate a Bernini sculpture, Adam passionately admires the artist's pursuit of perfection. However, Miranda confronts him, accusing him of using the arts as a means to justify his unhealthy obsession with perfection, a trade he has imposed on his daughter. Their conversations in Rome expose the complexities of their individual journeys and the impact it has had on their present lives. Initially, Miranda tries to convince herself that she isn't holding on to anger and resentment. She reassures herself that Adam wasn't her one true love, only her first love. However, as time passes, she acknowledges that her anger still lingers, and she reproaches herself for it. Miranda finds it absurd to keep grievances alive after nearly 50 years. Throughout the backstory, readers learn how their youthful relationship came to an end, with Adam clumsily and insensitively betraying Miranda. In Rome, Miranda notices that Adam appears short of breath, and eventually, she discovers that he has a heart stent. Gradually, she begins to let go of her anger, realizing the fragility and mortality of life. She feels a sense of compassion for Adam, recognizing that he, like herself, has lost their youth, and, unlike her, his health. As their time in Rome unfolds, Adam is moved to express his regret for the life they could have had together. Briefly tempted to rekindle their relationship and pursue a path of nostalgia, Miranda contemplates tearing down her current life and his as well, in an attempt to recapture their lost youth. However, both of them ultimately realize the impracticality and futility of such a decision. 
They part ways for good, returning to their respective families, understanding that the past cannot be rewritten. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.